In this video, we're going to take a look at the Wi-Fi client survey that is available within Link Live. From within Link Live, I'll navigate to Air Mapper and I'll select a survey. Notice at the top of the screen, we have a number of ways we may view the information that was collected as part of the survey process. In this case, I will select Wi-Fi client survey. While running an Air Mapper survey, location specific information is collected on networks, access points, clients, and optionally Bluetooth devices. In this case, the client devices are placed on the floor plan based on their signal strength. Let's start with the color coding when the option is set to client scene. In this case, the colors of the circles on the heat map change based on the number of clients seen at that location. If we have values checked, the number of clients seen at that location is shown in the center of the circle. This provides a visual indicator of those areas where there's a high concentration of client devices. High concentrations of client devices can lead to increased contention for the available Wi-Fi resources. From a security standpoint, the Wi-Fi client survey provides a means to not only identify unauthorized devices within your environment, but provide an approximate location for those devices. This can be useful when surveying areas where Wi-Fi is not allowed or only authorized devices are allowed to use Wi-Fi. We may change the limit by either typing in a value or moving the slider on the left-hand side of the screen. Notice that as I move the slider, only those areas that exceed the limit are highlighted. This provides a quick and easy way to identify those areas that may be seeing slowdowns or connectivity problems due to a significant number of clients near each other. To view the client detail for a specific measurement point, all I need to do is click on the circle. This brings up a list of client MAC addresses that were discovered at that measurement point. For each client, we see the MAC address, connected SSID, BSSID, channel, signal strength, security, and more. I can change the layout of this table by grabbing the column header and dragging it to another location. The column width may be changed by grabbing the line between the columns and sliding it. Clicking on the three bars next to the column header allows me to pin the column, auto resize the column, or reset the column. If I like this column configuration, I can click on the save icon to save it to my organization. I'll close this table. I can display the path I took while performing the survey, show the values of each of the measurement points, display the dimensions of the floor plan, show the heat map, display an estimate of client locations, and set the floor plan display color to grayscale. Here is where I can change the signal propagation as well. The other option is client signal. This displays the strongest client signal measured at each of the measurement points. This is a good way to determine if the client signal strength is strong enough to impact other devices on the same channel or whether it's located far enough away not to be an issue. Once we have the Wi-Fi client survey looking the way we want, we can save it as a view. This is accomplished by clicking on the additional tools icon in the lower right corner and selecting create view. This will save all the options and limits we configured for the view. I can give it a name and description. This allows me to use the view in a report. Lastly, location specific comments may be added to the view on Microsoft Windows by holding down the control key and clicking on the heat map, or on Mac OS, holding down the command key and clicking on the heat map. In summary, the Wi-Fi client survey provides an easy to use way of identifying concentrations of Wi-Fi clients, viewing the details about those clients, as well as generating reports that contain customized views of client locations and signal strengths. Be sure to check out the other videos from NetAlly on how to get the most out of your network analysis equipment as well as Link Live.